Okay, Ian, um, I'd like to turn left out of the car park. Okay. At the end of the road, turn left. Yep. Then at the roundabout, turn left first exit towards Aylesbury. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do POM to put away. So find the bike, look all the way round, and then signal left to come out of the car park. So looking up and down nice and early. It's quite a close junction to the right. There's quite a few parked cars. We're all fine. And then new road, new mirrors. So uh, we're going left at the end, so I need to find where the end of the road is. So we've got this bus, centre mirror off the gas. Ah, so there's the end of the road. So centre mirror, right mirror to go around the bus. And then centre mirror, left mirror, left signal for the end of the road. Okay, now it's a fairly closed junction, I can't see very well. So nice and slow, back down into first gear. Looking both ways. It's looking clear after this blue car. Just checking there's no cycles or motorbikes going past me. And then this is like a compulsory left junction. So centre mirror, left mirror. Remember my tyres and tarmac gaps around the blue car. So keeping looking up and down the road. She's about to go so I can move up to the line. And then it looks good for us as well. And there's the roundabout, so centre mirror, left mirror, left signal for the roundabout. So we're following all Aylesbury signs, so there it is. So yeah, definitely left first exit. Okay, so looking nice and early, keeping my head moving like a tennis match, it looks good. Checking for Bob and Tom. There, new road, new mirrors. Okay, so there's a big sign up here on the left telling me which way Aylesbury is, and it says straight ahead. So we're not getting off at this exit. Okay, so this road's national speed limit, so I'm gonna get up to speed, although this car's going across last minute, so just checking my rear and easing off. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, so there's an up ramp here, so I guess there's a down ramp coming up soon. Yeah, I can see it on the left there. So checking the outside lane, it is safe if I need it. I can also see 50 signs now. So checking in my mirror, and then just progressively braking a little bit to make sure I'm down to 50 in time. Still keeping an eye on the outside lane. It's still clear if I need it for people on the left emerging onto the dual carriageway. Ah, uh, there's no one there, so nobody to help at the moment. So the traffic lights have uh, just gone red, so I'm going to check my mirror, I'm going to come right off the gas, and then I'm going to start progressively braking nice and early. Okay, now as I approach these traffic lights, I'm looking past them, it looks like the road's going into one lane up there. That's, uh, yeah, I can see a triangle sign telling me that, so we know that we're going to merge straight after. Remembering my tyres and tarmac gap with this car in front. Now his position is to the right a little bit, which is a bit confusing. So I'm just going to give him a little bit extra space than normal. He might be wanting to change into the right lane. Okay, so checking all three mirrors, checking for Bob and Tom. Off we go. Okay, keep an eye on the pedestrian on the left. They look like they're behaving themselves. Okay, so I can see in the distance that the lanes are merging. So checking, keep an eye on this silver van that's to my right. Looks like he's going to stay behind me at the moment. I know he's decided to put his foot down, so I'm going to check my mirror and he's right off the gas and give him plenty of room. Oh, there's a blue car as well. So really right off this gas pedal. Okay, that's all of them by looks of things. Okay, Ian, after the next set of traffic lights, yeah. I'd like to turn right at the roundabout, third exit, towards Garston. Okay. So it's the roundabout just after the traffic lights? Just after the traffic lights, yes. So if I approach the traffic lights in the right lane, if there's two, so I'm ready for the roundabout. Brilliant, nice, cool. Oh yeah, I can see the roundabout and the traffic lights. So centre mirror and right mirror, off the gas pedal. Uh, we can go in the right lane, because they're both for straight ahead. We don't want the far right lane, because that's for turning right into Sainsbury's. And then progressively brake in. Okay, so I can see the sign. We're going right fourth exit to Garston. It's a bit of a funny shaped roundabout by the way they've drawn the sign by the looks of things. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for road markings or anything that might suggest I need to do something weird. Checking for Bob and Tom as we move off. So now we're passing these crossroads. I can now centre mirror, right mirror, 
the right signal for the roundabout. Okay, it's traffic light controlled, it's green at the moment. Just gonna keep an eye on those lights. Check that nobody's running a red light. Okay, so onto the roundabout. I can see exit one, exit two is ahead. So if I look across the roundabout, there's quite a lot of lanes over there. So I'm gonna move it over to the left lane as soon as safely possible as we come around this corner. Center mirror, left mirror. Yeah, we're safe to go around. Uh, there's exit number three, center mirror, left mirror, left signal for exit number four. And then new road, new mirrors. Now I see we're coming into a 30 zone, which tells me it's gonna be much more built up. There's gonna be many more hazards. We can already see lots of pedestrians on the right hand side of the road up here. And there's red traffic lights. So checking my mirror, easing off the gas. And I'm gonna leave this junction clear in case anybody comes. Okay, the car in front's moved a little bit now, so check for Bob and Tom. I can now budge to the other side of the junction. 